let's just get prepared for this speech let's go hi guys you probably pressed on this video thinking oh my god abby is doing another rant again there's going to be trouble you are completely right i am doing a rant but i think this message really really needs to start going around youtube and for some reason it's only just been noticed and people are only starting to deeply think about the beauty community so yes i'm going to be doing a rant on the beauty guru community i'm not hating on the beauty community at all in a way i'm part of the beauty community i love it it has made me really really happy but there are some flaws and I just want you to know that just because someone is a beauty guru, it doesn't mean that they're perfect. There's such a war going on with who can get the most subscribers. And does that really, really matter if you enjoy filming videos? People are even starting to lie about products and they're starting to say that products are really, really good. Although they're absolutely rubbish just because they want to get sponsored and respected and be given money by companies. There's a path that typical beauty gurus have to follow these days. For instance, to get loads of subscribers, you have to do stuff like room tours, makeup tutorials, lookbooks. And what if that's not just what you want to do? And what if you want to do a few rant videos and you want to speak as well? But no, to get the most subscribers, apparently you have to follow a certain path. People are starting to get hate because there's such a narrow mindset about how people who watch YouTube want beauty gurus to do. And that means that people are hating on people's videos because of the music they use in the background, because of their channel name and the type of videos they do. But really, if everyone was the same on YouTube and if everyone did the same sort of makeup tutorials and if everyone was a beauty guru and no one ever sat down and properly talked to the camera, then it would be a very, very boring social network. You know what? I don't want to be that typical beauty guru and I don't want to do makeup tutorials all the time. And I'm not going to sit here and say I've never cared about subscribers because of course I care about subscribers. I think if someone told you they don't care about how much subscribers they had, they're probably lying. It's really hard being yourself on YouTube these days because there's just a, a certain narrow mind path and everyone needs to follow the beauty community where well, I think it should be a wider range of things and you should be able to sit in front of a camera and record what makes you happy instead of recording because you want to get loads of subscribers and because you want to be sponsored and get money. Even if you just put one foot out of line, you're hated on. For instance, self-promotion. People self-promote and there's nothing wrong with that. I don't know why YouTube has made self-promoting a bad idea. Okay, so it's a different thing if you literally spam and beg people to subscribe to you on a lot of popular people's YouTube videos. But what I mean is if you self-promote on Instagram or YouTube or Twitter, there's nothing wrong with that. I know that I do that. I know that I self-promote on Instagram and that helps me and it doesn't really matter because what if I want to do that there's nothing wrong with self-promoting you've got to get yourself out there there's even stupid things that people are judged for like how often they upload and how perfect their filming schedule is if you upload every Wednesday and Sunday say or just every Sunday you have a perfect filming schedule and you are a typical beauty guru well really, what if I want to upload every day or nearly every day? Or what if I want to upload random times in the week? Am I weird for doing that? People are risking being judged because they film what they want to film. That is not right. Also, people commenting something nice on a popular YouTuber's video does not mean they are self-promoting. Just because they have a channel too and they have a few thousand subscribers, it doesn't mean they're self-promoting. They're just another person with a camera who also likes other people with a camera and they should be able to have an opinion on their video and comment below what they think of it without self-promoting. These days it's not cool to have under a few thousand subscribers and people often won't collab with you if they have more subscribers than you but isn't that the whole point of collaborating? You collab with someone else to help them or the other way around people are so picky but if you think about it 
people can't really help about the amount of subscribers they've had. I've saw channels who are not very good but have thousands of subscribers and I've saw really really good channels that have hardly any. So much people including myself feel forced to have the high tech equipment and to make sure their editing is on point just so it can be allowable to be posted on a social network. If my editing is not perfect I don't care if I spent hours on it, I would do it again or I just won't upload it. And if I've uploaded a video that I'm in shame of, then I actually can't get it out of my mind. Like, people like me shouldn't be put under that pressure to make perfect videos. People need to back down a bit and they need to stop from just hiding behind the truth and just thinking, okay, if I hide behind the truth, I'll get paid. And if I don't have an opinion and I just keep following a certain path in the beauty group community then i'll do absolutely fine and i'll be famous but really if this carries on i actually think it's going to get pretty out of hand youtube was created so people can have fun upload videos and express themselves so why is it being so narrow-minded and why are people getting so much hate for tiny things i film stuff like tags and occasionally beauty videos but I like to talk to you guys and do Q&A's and advice videos and rants and I do really really enjoy talking to the camera and it's just been on my mind so much that I'm going to be judged for not doing beauty videos and for doing tags all the time but what if that's what I want to record because that is what I want to record I don't want to just keep doing makeup tutorials first things first and the realest Abby no First things first, I'm not rich at all and I'm looking over to my makeup right now. I really don't have loads and loads of makeup so that's one reason why I can't keep filming videos and people need to realise that sometimes they might not want to film beauty videos because they don't have that much supplies and also I would love to film lookbooks but I don't have the biggest wardrobe ever and I don't have the most fashionable clothes ever so... I'm kind of stuck there and I'm afraid that I'm going to be judged for it and this message needs to go across on YouTube and I think people including myself need to stop worrying about what they're uploading. Just to say I really really do enjoy making YouTube videos and I do like the beauty community and I'm part of it and I love people in the beauty community. I think YouTube is just becoming so narrow minded and it's not necessarily their fault that they have to feel like they have to follow a certain mind path so i'm going to be showing some screenshots of katie paddock just to lighten up the mood a bit oh what's this one? Oh, katie you look the bae oh my god isn't she the bae oh my god by the way she's getting me back for this i'm not the only one who's going to be showing screenshots oh Nomming on that onion ring, nom nom. Oh, looking hot there, bye. Oh dear. So, they were just a few of Katie Paddock's screenshots, and don't worry, she's getting me back for doing that. If you want more rants and speaking videos, be sure to comment below and tell me. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. Bye, guys. Mwah. Also, subscribe, like, and comment if you enjoyed this video. Bye, guys.